the Wilder vs. Alanius pay-per-view, there was a, a much-awaited, much-anticipated co-main event, uh, a fight which I was actually looking forward to more so than the main event. It was uh, Caleb Plant against Anthony Durrell. It was a fight that uh, I had a hard time picking a winner, and I was kind of going back and forth in my head as to, you know, uh, who had more left in the tank, who was going to want it more at this particular time. And I was, I felt like the fight would be close. I felt like the fight would be competitive. But on alternating days, I would think maybe Caleb can edge it out. Edge it out. I felt like he was more skilled than other days. I would think, man, I think Anthony could edge it out. He he may not be as skilled, but he's got enough skills, and he probably is going to make it more of a dog fight. He might push it more, and Caleb might not like that. Because uh, I was questioning how much desire Caleb had left after making so much money with Canelo, and really I felt like he didn't give it the, the his best effort as as as, as much as I could have would have liked to see against Canelo. I've seen Caleb fight much better than I did in the Canelo fight than he fought in the Canelo fight, and I felt like he uh, I wouldn't say half-assed it, but uh, I felt like he didn't believe in himself enough, and uh, I felt like you know he was almost like satisfied with the money he got in the Canelo fight, uh, which is disappointing because I, I think uh, Caleb uh, has all the talent in the world. Like I said, going into this fight. I thought he had the more talent than out of the two fighters, but I just wasn't sure if he was if his desire was going to match up to his talent. So again, it was the reason why I was going back and forth on alternating days as to who I thought would win this fight. Uh, ultimately, uh, my pick. I think I put my picks on Twitter. I wound up uh, picking Caleb to win the fight uh, close, and uh, you know I, I really did feel uh, it ended up being a spectacular. One punch knockout uh, stoppage for Caleb Plant, but up until that point, you know, it was a pretty good little scrap. You know, both guys were having their moments. It was a chess match, but you could feel the bad blood. You know, a lot of times at chess matches, you can't really t uh, tell that the the bad blood is there. These guys haven't liked each other in a while, and uh, from the looks of Caleb's reaction after the fight, they may not like each other even after the fight. You know, uh, uh, when Caleb was uh, kind of given the sign of a throwing the shovel and dirt on top of Darrell, like basically saying he's buried, just buried his career. Uh, it was an emphatic knockout. If, if Anthony Darrell is going to come back, he's going to have to rebuild off of, uh, of, of uh, you know, basically a highlight reel knockout, one of the better knockouts of the year. And so, and, and a knockout that you wouldn't expect out of Caleb Plant. He's not known as a big puncher. He's more so known as a uh, very good boxer. Uh, but again, even in the chess match, even in the, the technical fight that they were having, you could see on the inside the little clinches, there was some bad blood, there was some push downs on the floor, some forearms in the neck, um, you know, some, you know, attempted hitting on the brakes, so on and so forth. You know, just, you could just tell, you know, there, there was a uh, little ticky tack fouls going on in there that the guys just didn't like each other. Little stares after the bell, and uh, like I said, so on and so forth. You know, uh, it was a good tactical fight. Uh, both guys had some decent moments. Uh, I wasn't really scoring it going in uh, when I watched it. Uh, I was just kind of, you know, I, but I, I was realizing the fights were close. So like I, I basically, I, you know, I watched the fight afterwards because I was at the, uh, I was, I'm here. I'm actually still here in England. So I watched the fight later on, and um, I didn't watch it live. And uh, by that point, it was, I, I, I just felt like the the rounds were you know competitive enough to where it, it would have took work to score them and and uh the mood i was in i didn't feel like doing that work i just wanted to enjoy the fight and see you know see how things played out uh i thought both guys were fighting a pretty good fight um you know uh you see uh caleb plant likes to use that lead hand not just to, with a good jab but also he uh kind of sticks it out there and measures measures anthony anthony uh, a couple times when he you can see when he uh, lands a good shot he ha he brings out that dog in him you know he follows up and tries to put shots together and, uh, you know, uh, just, uh, he's, he's pressures, uh, and he, he applies, well, if he lands a pretty good shot, he applies, you know, more, more tougher pressure for the moment of, uh, following up, uh, following up a good shot that he lands. Uh, you could kind of see their personalities while Caleb is just strictly stays tactician. But Caleb always had this double left hook that he ended up ending the fight with. He uses it a lot. And even in other fights, I've seen him use it. Uh, but it's not typically a fight ender. It's not something that you typically uh, look at to end the fight. But it's a, it's a nice scoring combination that he, that he, I've seen him throw in other fights. Uh, I think I remember seeing him throw it a few times in the Uskatiki fight as well. You know, it's one of his uh, go-to shots, you know, one of his go-to combinations, a double left hook to the body and to the head. Um, you know, in a fight that I thought was pretty good, pretty competitive, uh, you, you get this knockout where I'll basically break down the knockout for you. Caleb doesn't just do a regular body shot, head shot, 
left hook combination. You know, uh, he goes to the body with the left hook, but he doesn't bring the hook to the head right away. He kind of delays because I think he's basically bracing for a hook to the head that Darrell is going to throw. So what does he do? He throws the hook to the body and he bends more over to his left even further. You know, instead of usually when you double it up, you usually go to the body and then go right to the head. You come back across. Instead, he, he, in his mind, he anticipates a left hook to the head from Darrell. So instead of just coming up again where, where Darrell would beat him to the hook, beat him to the punch with a hook to the head because obviously the, Kayla would be throwing two shots while Darrell would be throwing one. It would be a catch and shoot. So Kayla, in that instance, Darrell's left hook would probably land first. So what does Caleb do? He throws a hook to the body and then dips further to the left, creating a subtle delay. Darrell, you can see, kind of dips in and, and, and catches the hook to the body. And he's, he's ready to throw the hook right there. But he, since Caleb doesn't wind up back in front of him as he's throwing his own hook, Darrell kind of stays delayed. And then all of a sudden, uh, Caleb, in his delay, delayed uh, left hook himself, comes back up from that, from that extra dip that he took after the hook to the body. And he throws his hook. By that point, Darrell now has to recharge his mind to throw his left hook to him. By that point, it's Caleb's left hook to the head that has now taken off first. So he separated the combination a little bit, Caleb, by, by, by dipping a little bit further to the left after the body shot. And so this is why he was able to get off that hook to the head before Darrell was able to get off his hook to the head. Because by the time Darrell realizes that Caleb's coming with a hook to the head, he probably should have changed plans on the catch and shoot because it's no longer a catch and shoot. It's a delayed left hook that you're throwing since Caleb delayed his left hook. But now the problem is Caleb's left hook is taken off before yours. The way I'm explaining it, it makes sense to me. I don't know if it's making, it's making sense to you. But um, nonetheless, uh, Caleb's left hook gets there first. You'll, you'll notice Darrell wants to throw his own left hook at, the, at that moment and it doesn't get there first, obviously. And you see the result. It's a left hook that he takes cleanly. It's also a left hook that Caleb gets a lot of weight behind because, like I said, he dipped extra over to the left, which means now when he's coming with, a hook, with his hook, there's a lot more momentum coming to bring his weight back over this way with the left hook. And what happens when it lands, since Darrell is in the process of throwing his own left hook, he never sees it. And it's the shot that you don't see that ends up hurting you the most. And sure enough, it drops them like we say in Italy, like a sack of potatoes where you just kind of just drop all over the place, you know. And uh, uh, referee, I think Harvey Doc was the ref. Uh, I think he counted for a few seconds and then he just stopped it. You know, uh, it was a bad knockout. Darrell was down for a few minutes. And like I said, I mean, I don't even know if the bad blood is done. Like that. Personally, I, I like these guys a lot. You know, both of these guys, you know, it's a lot of respect. I've seen them through the years in boxing. I've, I've enjoyed their 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 uh, their talents, their the the fights they've they've given us. And uh, I mean, I think they're both good guys. But you know, there's that personal beef. There's uh, uh issues that I hope that you know once the once you guys once people fight, you know, the the animosity that sometimes comes from com competition and bad blood through a promotion. You know, when both guys want the same thing, both guys are looking to achieve big things. You know, when, when the fight's over, you hope that guys can get along but i don't know man caleb uh threw uh, salt in the wound so to speak with that digging dirt uh on top of Darrell. so i don't know what will happen going forward but certainly a, a nice performance by uh, caleb playing a, a excellent finish that's for sure uh a finish that surprised and shocked me and i'm sure it surprised and shocked a lot of people in a fight that i really like i said i don't know how you guys were looking at it going in but i had a hard time trying to figure out who was going to win this fight and um it was a competitive fight but uh, an emphatic win statement knockout made by Caleb Plant he puts himself back into contention but it's in a weight class where Canelo Alvarez has all the titles and Caleb Plant has already fought Canelo Alvarez so I don't know if he's going to get another shot at Canelo Alvarez so what do you do now you know uh Darrell at least could have hoped for a shot at Canelo Caleb, I'm not sure if he's going to get a rematch with Canelo, though, you know, you keep trying to look good and, and win in this kind of fashion, maybe it'll create some demand, but uh, I don't know where, where both guys go from here. Benavidez, if he cannot get Canelo, maybe you make Caleb Plant and Benavidez, and uh, we'll see if uh, Caleb can handle Benavidez or if Benavidez can get rid of Caleb in a more uh, impressive fashion than Canelo did. That will probably be the questions going into that kind of fight if that fight were to be made. Darrell probably needs, uh, you know, some rebuilding if he's going to fight again. Um, you know, uh, probably lower the level of opposition a little bit and, uh, you know, work your way back into contention if that's what he wants. You know, only, uh, only the fighter truly knows how much he's willing to go through to come back into contention once he takes a loss like this. And sometimes we don't have the, the desire. Sometimes we're just worn out from a whole career in boxing, uh, especially when we have, have had these uh, long careers, been champion, been at a championship level and fought tough fights. So uh, either guy, you know, both guys, there's, uh, there's again, there's some curiosity going forward about both of them as far as uh, what kind of uh, what kind of direction they're going to take going forward. Uh, Caleb 
uh, is going to be talked about with this win. And he's going to put himself in a position where, like I said, if Benavidez doesn't get Canelo, I predict Benavidez and Caleb probably happens because they're both PBC fighters and it's easy. It's an easy fight to make. With Darrell, we will see if, how he comes back if he wants to come back. Let me know what you guys think about the fight, both guys going forward. How did you guys think the fight was going to go going into the fight, first of all? You know, that's a, that's another thing I'm curious about. And uh, what did you guys think of the knockout? Certainly surprised me, uh, but certainly an impressive knockout. And an impressive result for Caleb Plant and he, as he knocks out Anthony Durrell. I'm Paulie Malinaji for Poly TV, and I'll see you next time.